Today we're at the Great Race Place at Santa Anita. I bet a few of you have been here before. You know, from time to time I've been known to make myself comfortable. Why are we here at the racetrack? Well, we're at a restaurant called The Front Runner, and it has a beautiful view of the San Gabriel Mountains and overlooks the racetrack. My mission today is to leave with a little bit more money than I started with, and we're gonna put the executive chef to the test. So stick around. Let's see what's happening here at The Front Runner. Hi, my name's Eric Marinowski. I'm the chef of the Santa Anita Racetrack up here in the Front Runner restaurant. Peter, I understand you're looking for a crab cake like you remember from back home, a Maryland lump crab cake. Well, I think we have one for you here to try. First, we start with jumbo lump crab meat that's put into the mixing bowl. We add cracked black pepper, diced red bell pepper, kosher salt, a mixture of Dijon mustard and mayonnaise, chopped chives, and Old Bay seasoning. We bind this mixture with heavy cream that's been reduced by two thirds, making a well in the center of the bowl. And then we gently fold the ingredients together, trying to disturb the crab meat as little as possible. We mold it into a ball, and then we bread it with an anglaise breading procedure. Classic anglaise is flour. So as you can see, Manny is packing it with the flour, helping to give it a little more form and shape. Egg wash, once he has the proper consistency of the crab ball, then he rolls it in the egg, being sure to coat it evenly, and breadcrumbs. We use panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs are Japanese breadcrumbs, and they're using only the whites of the bread. The crust has been removed. The panko breadcrumbs protect it in the fryer and give it its crispy golden brown texture. And now we're ready to fry some crab cakes. Peter, as you can see, the crab cakes are molded now. Now they go into the deep fryer. We fry them until they're golden brown. After frying the crab cakes for four to five minutes until they're golden brown, the crab cakes are removed from the fryer and then they're put into an oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. I'd like to show you a few plates that we serve for lunch every day here at the Front Runner Restaurant at Santa Anita Racetrack. I'm gonna start with a Pacific Rim salmon salad with a wasabi glaze and a citrus soy vinaigrette dressing. We have our seared ahi tuna served with a jasmine jalapeno rice cake and topped with microgreens. And this is our roasted swordfish topped with a basil souffle topping with a mosh oil and roasted red pepper coulis. Next we have boiled Colorado lamb chops served with roasted garlic bread pudding, a Zinfandel jus, and gremolata. I hope you saved room for dessert. First, I'd like to look at our mixed berry shortcake, served with a lemon cream, and then our Thai basil and orange creme brulee. We also have a mixed fruit tart, a short pastry crust with a guava cream, You know, I found a really good crab cake here at the Front Runner Restaurant in Santa Anita. You know, a lot of restaurants save a little bit of money. I don't blame them. They use shredded crab. Here at the Front Runner, they use real lump crab. It's a little bit more money, but it's well worth it. Peter Dills, the Front Runner Restaurant, Santa Anita.